Well, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Senator, Judge. My name is Mick Bukai, and every time uh, somebody is about to announce my name, I get a little nervous because I have one of those names that everybody kind of messes up. Uh, but the judge did an amazing job. Thank you, Your Honor, for not screwing up my name. Uh, welcome, everybody. On behalf of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, uh, I want to welcome all of you here today. I want to thank the National Park Service for, for having this event here uh, today. This is a very special event. Uh, it is something that I do. Uh, I go around and do naturalization ceremonies. Uh, it's part of my job. I go throughout the state of Michigan. Uh, but this one is really, really special. Uh, I drove here from Detroit, so <laughs> it's the least I can do since uh, all nine of you had to come down to our office uh, for your interview. <laughs> Uh, you know, it, uh, it, it never fails. Every time I go to a naturalization ceremony, uh, the new citizens are always still look a little bit nervous. Meanwhile, it's, it's really just a, a, such a happy occasion today, but I know you're still nervous. Now, you can all relax. You're, you've passed your tests. You, you're not in our offices anymore. You're all Americans now. Uh, but I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about what I think the ceremony means to you, what it means to me, and what I think it means for this country. Uh, and I want to talk about choice since all of you chose to become U.S. citizens. Uh, you, you made a, um, affirmative steps to do that. You filled out applications, uh, paid fees, uh, came into our offices for your interviews, you subjected yourselves to background and security checks, you've taken tests, uh, all in the name of becoming U.S. citizens. Now, I assume you think this is a great country or else you wouldn't do that. What really makes our country great, one of them, Senator discussed it was diversity. Nine folks from six different countries, that's diverse. And uh, all Americans, almost all Americans, uh, we reached far enough into the past, uh, have an immigrant story to tell. Uh, mine is a little bit more recent, and it begins with me, since I am an immigrant myself. And I know some of you are saying, yeah, I, I detect a foreign accent there, and yes, it's a New York accent. <laughs> My family and I came to this country when I was one year old, in 1969, as Albanian immigrants. And although I grew up with American friends, never really questioned my citizenship, always thought I was a citizen, but didn't really think about it until my third year of law school, when I was uh, working at the Queens District Attorney's Office, the Prosecutor's Office in Queens, New York. And at the end of that internship, I was offered a job, and their first question was, are you a U.S. citizen? I said, I'm going to have to get back to you with that. I'm going to ask my father. Went home, and of course, in, his, uh, in, in that uh, Eastern European way, he said, you know, I don't think we ever filled out those papers. <laughs> that completely derailed my prosecutor future. But, uh, but literally that week, I filled out my application, submitted it. And back in the uh, early 90s, it took two years to just get an interview. Uh, New York was backlogged with cases, and it took two years to just get my interview in front of an immigration officer, and uh, I went, I studied, thank goodness I passed, uh, and I was sworn in as a U.S. citizen in August of 1994. Three years later, I came to work for the federal government, one of the benefits of being a U.S. citizen, by the way, to give back to the country that gave, that gave me so much. And as I went through my career, uh, it is pretty funny that uh, years later, uh, the officer that interviewed me uh, came to work in the same office that I worked in. Uh, and at that time, I was his boss. Uh, I don't know how happy he was, to, but I remember him. Uh, and the moral of that story, of course, is uh, always be nice to people. You never know who your boss is going to be. Uh, but I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, I want to congratulate you. Uh, this country is better off now than it was yesterday uh, because of you and because of your choice. God bless all of you and your families. God bless the United States. Thank you very much for having me here today.